Hey guys, welcome to the channel. In today's video, we're going to look at a lead code problem and the problem's name is maximum product of two elements in an array. In this question, we are given an integer array nums and we have to choose two indices i and j inside the array and return the maximum value of nums of i minus 1 into nums of j minus 1. Now let's take a look at this example and see how this question can be solved. I've taken the same example they gave us. So this is the nums array. And now we have to find two elements inside this array which will give us the maximum product. So our task is to find the two largest numbers inside this array and subtract each of them with minus 1, multiply them and return as the output. The maximum element inside this array is 5 and the second maximum is 4. So you do 5 minus 1 into 4 minus 1. So 4 into 3 is 12. So you get 12 as the output. So how are you going to find out the maximum element? So easiest way is to sort the array in ascending order and get the last two elements from the array. So once you sort it in ascending order, the input array will look like this. So this is the sorted array and you get the maximum element at the last index position. And the second maximum element is at the penultimate position that is last minus one. So access those elements and store them inside two separate variables and substitute them in the formula and you get the final answer as 12, which is the expected output. Now let's implement these steps in a Java program. Coming to the function they gave us, this is the function name and this is the input array nums given to us. And we need to return the maximum product as an integer. So int is a return type. So let's start off by sorting the input array nums in ascending order so that you access the maximum element at the last index and the second maximum from last minus one index. Now the array is sorted in ascending order. We access the first maximum at the last index. So last index can be found out by nums.length minus one. So in this case, nums.length is four. 4 minus 1 is 3, third index position is 0, 1, 2 and 3. So after sorting, 5 will be at the last index. Now let's find out the second max. Nums dot length is 4, 4 minus 2 is 2. So second index will be this index where 4 will be present. Now let's substitute, now let's substitute nums of 5, which is first max and nums of j, which is second max inside this formula and store it inside a result variable, which is our output. So nums of i is first max, right? And nums of j is second max. Now we have our answer stored inside the variable result. So let's return it. Now let's try to run the code. The test cases are being accepted. Let's submit the code. There you have it, our solution has been accepted. So the time complexity of this approach is O of n log n because you're sorting the array in ascending order. And the space complexity is constant O of 1 because you're not using any extra space. But arrays.sort in Java internally uses an array to sort the array. But generally it won't be counted in the program space complex. That's it guys. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.